All right, let's check out the other side of this matchup here. Mac Jones, this Patriots offense, you know, some of the issues that have plagued them. And, of course, they got a tough challenge against, yeah, it hasn't been the best Bucks defense this year so far, banged up by injuries. But they're still dangerous and have a lot of good things about them. And that's where we're going to go back inside the numbers powered by AWS. Mac Jones, downfield throws. It's not been good so far. 10-plus yards downfield. It's 41% completion percentage. That's 31st in football. 7.8 yards per attempt. That's 31st in football. 54.9 rating. Guess what? Oh, that's 29th in football. Okay, it's not very good. And it's not just all on Mac Jones. It's lack of explosive players by the New England Patriots to get open and create separation down there. And with all the new pieces and players on the Patriots offense right now, there's just a handful of mistakes every week on the offensive side of the ball that we're not accustomed to seeing. And here's a play that's ultimately going to be an interception by Mac Jones to P.J. Williams to just kind of emphasize it, all right? There's a little of everything here. I mean, there really is, and this is, it's rare to see the Patriots in this type of position. First off, this is what's going to happen here. It's going to be one, two, three, four, and there's another guy out here to make a five-man rush. You're going to have to trust me. I'll show you the next picture, all right? And ultimately, what they're going to do here, you know, you're going to see boom and boom, but the, the main part of this is going to be the inside guys here, where 55 is going to smash this center to basically pick – to help get pressure with the nose tackle and get into Mac Jones' face. New England doesn't do the best job of passing that off. It's a tough thing to do. It really is. But that's probably the first part of the problem. And now I want to go to the next picture to show you the next part of the problem. All right, so you can see there's issues right off the bat. You know, the first thing I want to say is, and of course it's a picture, really at the start of this and when, when Mac Jones got the ball, he was kind of sitting right here and in a better spot. He kind of moved a little bit before he had to, and I would say probably moved a little too aggressive to where he put himself in harm's way, not being able to have a clean pocket and throw the football. Now, it's not perfect, and I'm not putting it all on Mac Jones, certainly. Okay, you can see here, tight end down the middle, Hunter Henry. I mean, negative, Ghost Rider. He's not open. I mean, zero separation. All right, the next part of the play would be they have trying a little rub route here, right? And... Um, they're, they're trying to pick who's Marshawn Latimer here in coverage a little bit. They don't even do a good job of rubbing the two receivers together to make this happen. Ultimately, they want to throw the ball, you know, as a let's look at 85 Hunter Henry down the field and then come to Olszewski, I hope I said that right, as the underneath route, all right? That's really what they're trying to do. But he doesn't set the right depth to help Jacoby Myers make the pick, and that becomes an issue. And then as you see, like here, we said Hunter Henry covered right now. Mac Jones takes too long to get off of him. So now we got protection issue. Mac Jones, a little bit bad movement in the pocket. Could have just kind of stayed where he was, but pushed up in the pocket maybe too aggressively to close it on himself. And then not getting off the first read, okay? And I understand him, like, not being able to throw the ball right here to number 80 because, hey, there's a guy here in his face, and he probably doesn't feel like he, – he probably can't even see him clearly, let alone it wasn't the cleanest pick, and it's Marshawn Lattimore, and you're scared he might undercut it and pick it off, all right? So a lot of issues. All right, third picture to show here. End result, right? I mean, disaster. Master of disaster here. You could see that – Mac Jones is getting hit as he's trying to throw the football. Like I said, I think he moved up a little too aggressively in the pocket. They didn't do a great job of switching off the little twist between, or the twist, the pick play, whatever you want to call it, between the Saints linebacker and defensive lineman, right? He, I think, like I said, stayed too long on Hunter Henry down here. There's no way he's going to be open. Look, there's another guy right here in case he does come across. Like, it's not there. Get off it. Do something. All right, so that's an issue. And then ultimately, this is like another part of the check down, like where I think he's trying to throw the ball to Jacoby Myers to get the ball out of his hand, avoid a sack either way. But Jacoby Myers, of course, is still spinning around and, and, and lost his balance because of the collision with Marshawn Lattimore and the, the not so good pick that they were trying to create underneath. So it's, it's a lot of this from New England right now. There has been people open down the field. Yeah, Mac Jones has missed a few throws, certainly. But 
It's also been guys not being able to separate or when there is a guy wide open down the field, they don't protect right or get the protection right in general. And it's little things like that that have caused the Patriots to be one and two. I do think they're better than a one and two football team. They probably should have, they should, they outplayed the Dolphins in week one. Should have won that game. It didn't happen. But if they make mistakes like this on Sunday night against Tampa's defense, good night. They'll be in big trouble. They got to play pretty perfect and pretty clean on this side of the ball, I think, because we know Tampa and Brady on the offense are going to score, you know, I would say plus 20 points and at least have a few big plays during the game. There's just too many weapons on that side of the ball for them. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.